Hello, I'm Assemblymember Monique Limon. I had the honor of representing the 37th Assembly District for a second year, and I am proud of the work that my team and I have put forth. This legislative year was both historic and devastating for our district. The Thomas Fire and the resulting debris flows changed some of our focus to thinking about post-natural disaster rebuilding and future prevention of wildfire damages. We recognize that some of the things can never be replaced and that the loss of life stays in our heart and memories forever. As we move forward, our goal was and is to establish policies and programs that move us towards minimizing future impacts of natural disasters. In 2018, I worked to secure pre-staging funding to be used during peak fire season and funding to backfill 12 million of lost property taxes for both Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. We also tackled issues like business and technology, environmental protections, education, and health and human services. I am honored that Governor Jerry Brown signed 16 bills I authored, all of which garnered bipartisan support. I am also proud of the part I played in addressing some of the broader issues in our district through the budget. The budget prioritizes funding for fire recovery and prevention, makes significant investments in K-12 schools, provides emergency aid to fight homelessness, and prevents tuition hikes at UC and CSU, all while building up the largest reserve in California history. By the end of 2018-19, the Rainy Day Fund will climb to an estimated $16 billion. This investment makes California better prepared for the next economic downturn. The year's state investments include more than $500 million to address the homelessness crisis, principally to help local governments tackle homelessness. Funding for K-12 schools by providing an increase in per-student funding. Funding increases for the state's university system, keeping tuition costs from going up at public universities. This year, I also got to be part of working landmark legislative reforms, including setting the goal of reaching 100% clean energy for our state by the year 2045, passing legislation to prevent new offshore oil drilling to protect our precious coast and the local economies, passing the nation's strongest net neutrality law to ensure we continue to access a free and open internet. All this while also being appointed to chair the Assembly Banking and Finance Committee, making history as only the second woman in this role in the California State Legislature. As chair, I am proud to have worked on legislation to strengthen consumer protections by re-examining predatory lending practices in our state. This session, my colleagues and I tackled toxic lead paint exposure for Californians and a proposed ballot initiative that would have removed paint companies' liability and responsibility to knowingly exposing families and children to toxic lead-based paint. As the author of one of the few lead paint-related bills to pass the assembly, I played a key role in ensuring that the people of California were not held responsible for $3.9 billion in lead paint cleanup. Our most important work continues to be to serve the people of the 37th Assembly District. We held a number of events to recognize and provide services to residents in the 37th Assembly District. We held 615 meetings in both our capital and district offices. I attended 272 district events. We connected with over 12,000 constituents and assisted 260 constituents with casework related to state agencies. I participated in 53 legislative hearings and 27 budget hearings. We also focused on sending a clear message about the values of the 37th Assembly District. We came together to celebrate the contributions of diverse members of our community, including LGBT women and immigrant communities. The 37th District is a representation of the beautiful diversity that makes our country great. As always, feel free to contact me by visiting my Santa Barbara or Ventura offices and website or any of the social media platforms. It has been an honor to represent you and the 37th Assembly District, and I look forward to continuing to work with you in the coming year.